What's up guys? Jeff with Worldwide Cyclery and today we're going to talk about our five favorite knee pads. All right, so knee pads, they come in kind of a different variety. There's some that are a little bit more padded and protective and better for what you would say downhill riding that are maybe a little less pedal friendly. And then there's some that are a little bit more lightweight and more pedal friendly. And then there's some that are kind of in the middle. So here are five of our favorites and they kind of range of both of those categories. So to start out with G-Form Elites. So G-Form is famous for this uh, really cool, interesting looking design they have on there and this density of foam. I don't know all the technical specs behind this stuff, but it's pretty amazing. It's super protective and it's dense and has like a really slow rebound to it. But part of what's cool about the Elites, um, they're 100 bucks. They are the most pedal friendly one of the bunch right here. So big ventilated back. There is no strap, but it does have a, uh, a very sticky, I don't really know what that is right there, but it's a sticky little rubber strip. Uh, most of these have that and it kind of helps it stick to your skin so it prevents them from sliding down. It's got that at the top as well as at the bottom. And like I said, so it's got a good ventilated back here. There's no straps. Um, it pretty much covers the entire top of your knee and all the way a little below past it. And the most pedal friendly, lightweight, and really comfortable, like if you were gonna pick any of these pads and go do a 20 mile mountain bike ride, this would be a phenomenal pad to do that with. Um, it's protective, but it also just doesn't feel like you're wearing it in a sense, so really good for those long pedal rides. Um, next up, the POC, or POC, however you pronounce that, I call it POC, POC Joint VPD Air. So this is an $80 knee pad. This is a, kind of in the middle of, of being like a pedal friendly and a downhill pad. So VPD Air, this is their lighter model. Um, VPD is that specific type of uh, pad or rubber or whatever foam density stuff they have in there that protects the knee. Again, it's, uh, it's kind of like a slow rebound um, impact thing. So when you smash it, it, it you know, it's, it wants, it's hard and protective in that sense. There's a lot of technology behind all of these pads, especially G-Form and POC have some of the most complex uh, materials that are used in these things. Uh, this one's got a pretty big uh, traction pad, you could call it right here. So this is like a grippy material that goes above the kneecap to prevent this thing from sliding down. And then you have one strap on the top. And that's it, pretty simple pad, super comfortable. It has kind of like this pocket feeling in it. So it always kind of forms to your knee. So good pedal friendly knee pad, but also really darn protective as well. Um, and small and lightweight and doesn't come too far down or too far up on your leg. So great pad, um, awesome for pedaling in and protective as ever as well. So when I was riding those things, they didn't slide down at all, which I really liked even when my legs got a little bit sweaty um, or on more of a downhill sort of like rocky terrain, they didn't slide down. None of these knee pads had that problem where they were like sliding off of my legs when I was using them and we haven't got that feedback on any of them. That problem has been pretty well fixed with good knee pads at least these days and if you get the right size, um, none of them should really be sliding off of your legs. They all will kind of slide off your knee if you like actually crash really hard and you know push your knee into it. Pretty much any knee pad is going to do that, but what you want the protection for is like that initial impact and slide. Um, that's where you want the pad to come into play. Like it's no pad is ever going to totally stick to your knee when you crash with the thing entirely, but that initial impact is what you need it there for. So next up, Fox Racing Launch Pro. So this is a $60 knee pad. Um, this is more of, I would consider like a downhill bike pad. It's not quite as pedal friendly as some of the other options here. Uh, but if you're looking for a pad to use on a downhill bike, or if you're going to a ski resort, I have these in my own gear bag and I use them every year when I go to Whistler to ride downhill for five days straight. Oh! And I love that. They have a ton of side protection, um, which some of these other ones I mentioned don't. The race face flanks do as well. We'll get into those in a little bit. But this is more of what I consider like a downhill bike pad. So full kneecap coverage, goes down a little bit on the upper part of the shin, above the knee coverage right there. So you have a big padding there. And then you have coverage on the entire side of the knee on each side, the inside and the outside. So um, these pads have two straps, nice soft interior, uh, 
bit of a, like a hole in the back for ventilation there. This is all pinned for ventilation to keep your knees cool. And I love these things. I never have problems with these sliding down and they have a ton of protection. So for riding a downhill bike or being at a ski resort, these are my absolute go-to pads and favorite. And you can wear them all day and not notice because it's got a super soft material on the inside. So um, none of these really that I've ridden and any good knee pad these days shouldn't really be causing you like skin irritation at all. Um, everyone's different in that sense, but these things don't cause me any problems and I love them. Um, next up, we've got IXS Flows. So these are $69.95 and these things have got, um, yeah, I don't know, X matter is, is what IXS calls it. And that's again, it's some type of like slow rebound uh, foam or rubber, I don't know. Again, <laughs> I'm not an expert on exactly the material they're using in these things, but there's a lot of tech behind it. So look it up if you're interested, it's pretty cool. This pad is, is more of a, again, a pedal friendly pad. So it, it just has protection on the front of the kneecap there. It has one strap on the bottom. It's gonna have that rubbery material up here that's nice and grippy to help prevent that pad from sliding down while you're pedaling or while you get sweaty. And uh, these things are ultra comfortable, ultra light. This whole back material right here is extremely soft and it's very, very ventilated. You can see my hand coming through there. So it's, these things probably have the best ventilation of any of these pads, um, just because this whole back material is super thin and breathable. Um, so good knee pad for hot weather and good knee pad for pedaling a lot and just an all around awesome pad, especially for $69.95, um, one of the more affordable ones as well. Last up, the Race Face Flank Pad. So these are 105 bucks. Um, these are more in that downhill category. So if you're really looking for a ton of protection, these are gonna have the most of any of the pads that I've shown you so far. Um, full kneecap coverage all the way to the top, all the way out of the bottom of the kneecap, and then the whole upper part of the shin. You've got a good, nice, thorough pad right there. You've got protection on the inside of the knee and the outside of the knee. This has got three straps on it. Um, I guess this is a Velcro strap too, so that would probably count as a fourth one. Um, so you can see what it looks like in the back there. Ton of protection. So if you're really looking for a lot of protection, a full downhill pad, I mean, you could pedal really any of these things. Um, these are probably made more for not going on a 20 mile mountain bike ride pedaling, but more for your ski resort, um, bike park type riding where you have, you want a ton of protection and really cover the shin and all around each side of the knee. So again, phenomenal pads, 105 bucks. If you're really looking for, you know, the most protective, comfortable pad, this is probably it right here. And that sums it up. Let us know what you guys think. What pads are you using? Do you ride knee pads often? Do you ride them only at ski resorts? Do you ride them when you pedal on long enduro rides? Uh, let us know what pads you like, which, what do you think of these ones? Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next one.